What's going on guys? Welcome back to another new video. Today what I have for you guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about Warzone 2. A new update has just rolled out to pretty much iron out everything that's been going wrong with the Season 2 update. So we know that the Season 2 update kicked off and there was just a lot going on. For example, if you've been playing Resurgence or Warzone, you've noticed that armor plays haven't really been spawning in as often and that was like one of the more rarer things in the game. Like you have plenty of money, but you can't find any sort of armor plays. So it made the mode a little bit more difficult because they would have a health advantage over you if they were finding them but the good thing is they were actually listening to complaints and as soon as they saw that a lot of people were not happy with the amount of armor plays they actually ended up doing an update right away and they made it so every single player that you eliminate will at least drop you one armor plate plus whatever they were carrying so now it makes it a little bit easier to find them and then i believe they did also increase the spawn rates as well so that way you won't have to really deal with that issue as much but there's a lot of other issues so i saw some people who weren't even able to load into the game without it crashing and things like that so anyways they ended up doing this update just came out like a couple minutes ago and here's everything that it did so it fixed the crash issue that would occur at game client start and then they also said they're going to continue uh looking through that and then they fixed the issue with the season one battle pass tokens if you had some left over they weren't rolling over to the season two battle pass so you weren't able to use them so now that they fixed that check your battle pass you might have some extra tokens to spend and then the next thing is they fixed an issue that caused players to lose the ability to move after reviving down squad members they fixed the issue with the riot shield view being distorted and then they fixed a tablet missile alignment for killstreaks and heartbeat sensor but the fixes go on as you see everything is all fixes it fixed the issue preventing armor plates from automatically filling the active loadout slot until the player manually equipped it one first so it, it, that's probably one of the reasons as well as that many people weren't getting armor plates is you might be running over them assuming that you know you were going to be automatically picking them up and you wouldn't have to actually look through all of the different loot that's on the floor you might be too busy in a gunfight to really even pay attention to the floor loot and so when you run over it you should be able to to pick it up right but apparently that wasn't the case so now with this brand new update you shouldn't have to worry about that and you will be able to automatically start picking them up they also fixed an issue where the mouse and keyboard players could not remove certain blueprint attachments in the gunsmith and then they fixed an issue where dmz operators were holding invisible weapons when no weapon was equipped fix certain misalignment issues and things like that now the thing is is these are these are just a little bit of the many things that are going on with the game right now apparently they're even looking at an issue right now in dmz that the ais are a little bit more overpowered than they are intended if you've been playing dmz and you've been seeing that these bots have been sweating a little bit too hard that's exactly the case obviously they're just pretty much trying to iron out and fix as many issues as they possibly can right now there's a lot of issues with dmz some multiplayer issues are also coming up and then a bunch with ashika island going on right now so what i'll do is every time they do some fixes and things like that i'll mention them quickly in the beginning of the video no matter what topic we're currently talking about so that way you just stay up to date on what's going on because i know there are some bugs and some things that are probably keeping you away from the game and maybe if they fix them you'll come back and give it a try but yeah i'll keep you guys updated whenever we get anything like that but anyways let's talk about some other things we got going on with ashika island right now such as some brand new features some things that i've noticed and some easter eggs that are currently in the game so the first thing is I want to I want to talk about the Easter egg. So apparently High Moon Studios has confirmed to us that there are many, many Easter eggs that are currently going to be in Ashika Island and they will also be added as the season progresses. So this is something that they will continuously update just to spice up the map and add more variety. So as of right now, there is currently an Easter egg that was found and it has to do with the fish. So if you go over to like the edge of the water, you'll see that sometimes there's some fishes swimming and they're like popping out of the water. They don't usually spawn in the same place twice. They just spawn randomly in random areas but if you actually throw any form of explosive semtex frag anything like that at them they will actually end up eliminating them and then you are able to grab the fish you actually gain xp from doing this as well so as you see here i ended up leveling up from doing this but you grab the fish you take it over to beach club which is at the bottom left hand side of the map at the entrance there's a statue of a seal when you walk up to it and you have these fish in your inventory you have the option to feed him now when you feed him you actually gain xp from doing this and i believe if you feed him a couple times and fully max it out he usually drops some random things such as like semtexes or claymores fortunately the one recording i was able to get as soon as i started feeding him someone came and eliminated me so i wasn't able to fully give him all of the fish that i ended up collecting but it's just a little cool little feature you don't really gain that much from it i mean you do gain a little bit of xp but you're not gonna get like a really overpowered weapon or anything game breaking like that so it's just a little cool thing to do now that's just one of many easter eggs that are gonna be coming in as of right now this is like the only one that's been found i think they're gonna be adding more as we go on as they've mentioned so it might not be like a bunch of them available already at launch might be like another one or two more 
But as of right now, this is the only one that I'm able to find. If I find some more, I'll let you guys know about it. But anyways, let's go on to the next thing that we have. And that has to do with vending machines. So now there are vending machines on the map. I was able to find one of them. I'm not sure how many more are located. You may have seen some. If you've seen some more, comment down below and let us know the locations. But if you go on over to the very top right-hand corner of the map, this is north of Shipwreck. There's going to be a little location that has like a building and things like that there. Now, when you actually go inside of the building, there is some sort of a vending machine. Now, in order to be able to get something from this vending machine, you have to put in a coin. And this coin, you've probably seen it already. You've probably collected it already because they just randomly drop. And I've seen them. And at first, when I saw this coin, I was like, I'm not sure exactly what this is for, but this is exactly what it's for. You insert this coin into this vending machine and you're actually able to get weapons and it spits out some things for you. So sometimes if you're very lucky, you'll actually get a really fully kitted customized weapon, but most times you'll get something average and it does have like attachments and things like that to it. But, but there's no limit to how many weapons you can get from this thing. It just depends on how many coins that you have. So if you do collect a bunch of them and get an opportunity to come here or find a different vending machine at a different location, use that and you might actually end up getting a really good weapon. I'll keep trying it out and if i find something really game breaking or really busted i'll definitely make a video and show you guys but these are just some random features that i saw on a sheikah island and have noticed so far if you've noticed anything else comment it down below and let me know also for those of you guys who want to test out dlc weapons such as like the hemlock or you want to check out the new shotgun or use the crossbow early something like that they are available on a sheikah island right now i've actually been able to grab multiple ones and i was able to use these dlc weapons that i don't have but anyway something else that i wanted to let you know so you guys may have noticed that the redeploy drones are not currently in the game as of right now so they have confirmed to us that they are going to be adding them within the next month they don't want to just add it in right away they want to let all the players first get a feel of the map understand it a little bit more so they have confirmed that they didn't forget about adding it but they're just waiting on players and waiting until then and then in a couple weeks it'll be available there's going to be a total of four of them and they're just going to be randomly in across areas of the map probably in like the drier areas so that way you're able to use that and then just get away and get towards like the center of the map but that's all that I got for you guys in terms of today's video everything that I've talked about We got the new updates and Easter eggs and random things like that But if we do find some new things like on a Sheikah Island if I find anything new I definitely will make a video and let you guys know about it If you guys have seen any sort of Easter eggs or anything that I didn't cover in this video Feel free to comment them down below and share them with us But that's all that I got for you guys in today's video Thank you guys for tuning in the next video that I will cover is probably talking a little bit more about season 2 reloaded They have confirmed that there's a lot of new season 2 reloaded content that's going to be coming in that they didn't really give us on the roadmap so it seems like there's going to be an, another separate update and this season seems a little bit shorter it's actually going to be under two months long so within halfway around that they're going to be adding the reloaded update so this update in my opinion already has enough content to last for well over a month so, so by the time season two reloaded comes around time will have already flown by and then we're going to get the new content new maps new things for multiplayer as well a brand new modes that are going to be added for that and then just yeah everything like that but that's all that i got for you guys in today's video let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see on the channel but hopefully i'll be seeing you guys here again peace